Today we're going to check out how to make this awesome symbol in Illustrator and also how you can apply your personalized materials on 3D forms. Step one, swap it from field to stroke. Make sure you don't have anything on the field. Click on the field, click on the none, click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. I got to select the pen tool, make a line. I'm going to increase the stroke. Let's go to the effects, distort and transform, zigzag. I got to decrease the ridges per segment to three, increase the size and click OK. Let's go to the object, expand appearance. I got to press and hold shift, rotate it upside down. And here we have the letter M. I also going to go to the stroke options, make the cap rounded and the corner rounded as well. Increase the weight even more. I got to do it with 50. From here, let's go to object, expand, click OK. I also going to select the direct selection tool and select these anchor points to make them more rounded. So we're going to smoothen out a little bit more. All right, let's select the shape. Go to the 3DM materials. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select 3DM materials. Let's click on inflate, decrease the depth to zero, inflate both sides. You also can go and activate the ray tracing. I'm going to leave it like this. And now we're going to create the texture, which I made in mid journey. It looks something like this. The prompt was simple holographic tin foil background scan flat aspect ratio three colon two. All you need to do is click on it, open in browser and right click save image as. Now the problem is that the image is small size. So we're going to upscale it in this app, which is called Upscale. It is for free. You can download it. All you need to do is just drag and drop the image. I'm going to go to generate photos fast mode. You can select the output and click on upscale. Now we're going to go back to illustrator, drag and drop the texture. And if you go to the 3D materials and click on the materials, you can see that here we got symbols that basically can be found in the symbols right here. So logically speaking, it kind of makes sense. All you need to do is just drag and drop the texture here, right? Click OK. A symbol definition cannot contain a linked image. So we're going to link it. Let's go here to the links. If you don't have the links, go to Windows, select the links. And in this windows, it's going to appear the JPEGs and all the bitemap images, which are not vector based. And from here, I'm going to select the image, go here to the three lines and let's select the embed image. And now the image is embedded from here. I'm going to go back to the symbols, drag and drop the image, click OK. And now we're ready to go. Let's scroll down. And here you can see the new texture. I can delete this one. I'm going to select the letter M. Click on the new symbol. I'm going to zoom out. So here you can see the circle with the circle. You can scale the texture and you can move it around. Also, this actually is pretty nice. I'm going to leave it like this. And now you can see it's kind of low resolution. All you need to do is go here to the ray tracing, little arrow, click on high, go to raster settings and increase the screen to high eventually. Now the loading time going to take a little bit more because it's going to make it high resolution, but I'm going to show you click OK and go and click on render and look at that. It fixed the quality. You also can change up the lights, probably going to move it around here. I got to go back to materials, decrease the roughness and I'm going to bring the light somewhere here. Scroll down, activate the shadows. I increase the distance to zero and I also want to make the shadow disappear. So I'm going to select a rectangle and create a rectangle on the symbol. Right click, arrange center back, and I'm going to create a copy of the letter M. Press Control C and then Control F. So it's going to create a copy on the top. Also, when you make the copy, make sure to uncheck the ray tracing so it won't take that much loading time. Now let's go back to the properties and here you can see the 3DM materials. We're going to delete that. Now make sure that you select the top letter M, press and hold shift and go and select the background as well. Make sure to select here the corner because accidentally you can select the 3D letter M and we don't want that. From here, we're going to go to the pathfinder and click on minus front. So now you can see there's no shadows. I got to go back to 3D materials, object, inflate, activate ray tracing, and it's going to look something like this. You also can go to materials, decrease the roughness, make it more plasticky, increase the metallic, and there you go. This was it. Thanks for watching.